Good afternoon, everyone. Our group member, we have Monica Ng Mei Hui, Sabrina Lazarus, and me, Ng Yu Ki. Today, we are going to present about the guest experience dining at a restaurant. Geranian is a world class three Michelin star restaurant at Copenhagen, Denmark. And today, we are going to talk about the guest experience in this restaurant in Geranian. We can see the experiences and knowledge of the chef. First one is convenient their customer. The example is in a picture over here. This is a one bite dish. Customer just need to put charred tomatoes on the slightly smoked sheep milk butter on the spoon to eat. After that, you use the food cover to make the food warm. Increase customer experience. Example is over here. The chef will put the sauce on the dish in front of customer. And then it's knowledge in the kitchen, such as working flow in the kitchen, keeping food well, and so on. Last one is use tray to serve food. Tray is also a tool to carry food. Next, servers. We need to know the knowledge of making cocktails and serve different kind of drink according to that dish. Staff professionally is an ability to product special dishes. There is chef would be able to serve delicious food, but also with creative decoration and nice plate. The chef must be responsible to serve clean food, which without any dirty premises and wear clean uniform to prevent any dirt from dropping. Besides that, speaking skill is also a must to explain on what to eat first, step by step, and ingredients. Smile while talking and feel free to introduce the dishes recommended by the chef. Moreover, I also could see the skills of staff at this restaurant. Listen to customer needs, listen to customer patiently, let the customer finish their sentence. Next, also to talk clearly and even tell a joke when your food is late. Also, when customer requests something, Served on time and fulfill them. They are server also able to open wine professionally and making tea following to the suitable temperature and time to cook. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the facilities here, the design and space and the furniture they have. So from first, the, I'm gonna talk about the design and space. The design here is very greenery, very like beautiful scenery and they have like a wide window with a beautiful scenery you can he you can see while you're eating and very large space and not that packed with table and chairs and the furniture they use here is elegant black chair and table with white tablecloth so it makes it more elegant and more high class more high quality and they have wooden furniture as well for like casual dining as you can see there there is like a wooden tall wooden chair and wooden table and here is some of the lease of the wine supplier sparkling wine white wine orange wine rosé wine red wine for fortified wine and sweet wine so for example sparkling wine they get from england italy spain Orange wine they get from Austria, Austria, France, and Italy. Rosé wine they get from France, Italy, Spain, Denmark, and USA, and etc. So, this is the wine supplier they get. So here is just one of their menu. So is the name the name of the menu is the Jerusalem artichoke leaf dish. Is an edible art food, which. The 17 plus inspired artistic courses composed of organic and wild Scandinavian ingredients. Well, a presentation of fragile near translucent leaves is made from a Jerusalem artichoke puree. What look to be razor clams are actually dough painted with squid ink. So basically, they have like unique menus they offer. So this is one of the food supplier they got is from Jerusalem. 
and this is one of the edible their edible art food which is very unique they offer so it's not a clams but actually a dough pan painted with a squid ink so they offer a very unique foods one of the new trends I have seen in the video has to do with the rise of users in social media as people have been posting more pictures of what they're eating every single day. This led to restaurants putting more effort in pre into presenting their dish more beautifully so, so that guests can take more beautiful pictures because this is also a way to help promote the restaurant. Secondly, staff personally explaining the dish help create an experience for the guests because they interact with the guests and help make it more memorable. Last but not least, innovative dish. In recent years, chefs are becoming more innovative with their dishes because they want to try and attract more younger generation that are more open-minded to try new type of dishes. As for the issue that I personally felt that in the restaurant, the waiter is talking a bit too much. A lot of time, waiter get carried away when explaining dishes that the consumer get very confused. It is best to explain it in a simple term, where even guests that have absolutely no knowledge about the food can understand. Another issue is that it looked nothing different than any other three-star Michelin restaurant from the other video that I have watched. It from the interior design to the waiter putting food in front of the guest, it was very similar. It made me wonder if it worth the money, time, and effort to go there. The restaurant should come up with something unforgettable or memorable so that guests will keep coming back.